Hello and welcome to Sandra's Homespun Life. In today's video I have a wonderful recipe to share with you all and it is called cauliflower and ham au gratin. Now this is a low carb recipe but don't let that deter you because that doesn't mean it's not good just because it's low carb. This recipe is full of flavor and it's absolutely delicious and I'm sure you'll like it even if you're not sticking to a low carb diet. So without any further ado let's just jump right into the recipe. For this recipe, you're going to need one very large head of cauliflower. Now, if you have to, you can get two small heads of cauliflower to add up to one large one, but you typically want between five and six cups of cauliflower florets cut small. So I have a very large one right here. This is the biggest one I could find. First thing I'm going to do is take this out of the wrapping. I'm going to wash and rinse it really well. I'm going to cut off these thick green leaves. And then I'm going to cut up my cauliflower into small florets. I have my cauliflower cut up into smaller pieces and you, you want them to be about this size. Uh, you really don't want them to get any bigger than that. So that's the size that you need to cut your cauliflower. Now from here you're going to need to steam your cauliflower until it's fork tender. So for me, I'm going to put mine in the Instapot and steam mine that way. And if you've never steamed cauliflower in the Instapot, I'm going to show you right now how to do it. Now to steam cauliflower in the Instapot, you're going to need to add one cup of water to the pot. And I use this steamer basket to put my cauliflower in. And I'm just going to set that right down inside the Instapot. Next, I'm going to place my lid on the Instapot and seal and lock the lid. I'm going to set my pressure valve to the sealed position. I'm going to select the manual button and I'm going to go down to two minutes. I'm going to allow the Instapot to come up to pressure, steam my cauliflower, and once it's done I'm going to do a quick pressure release and I'll bring you all back then. So I've put my cauliflower in my Instapot and I've steamed it. I set the timer for zero, zero minutes. I'm sorry for making that little blunder earlier by saying two minutes it's actually zero minutes uh, basically once your instapot comes up to pressure your cauliflower is going to be fork tender so i'm sorry about that little oopsie there but let's go ahead and move on i've got my cauliflower sitting off to the side here and i'm going to allow that to uh, finish draining off any extra liquid So now I'm going to prepare the sauce for the cauliflower recipe. Now you're going to need one block of softened cream cheese. I forgot to lay mine out, so I'm going to cut it in half, put it in my large measuring cup, pop it in the microwave on defrost, low power, and just kind of allow that to soften up. And then it'll be good to go. Got my cream cheese softened, and I've got this softened to the consistency that it's very, very soft it's very easy to take a spatula and smoosh it and that's going to make it extra creamy and easy to make this sauce blend and come together so along with my one block of softened cream cheese i'm going to add one and a half cups of non-fat greek yogurt next i'm going to add some grated parmesan cheese now i grated this while i was waiting for my cauliflower to cook in the instant pot and I'm going to take my spoon and gently mix that until I get all these ingredients well combined. Okay, next I'm going to add some sliced green onions to this. I also sliced these up while the cauliflower was cooking. And it's probably a little over a cup. If you don't like green onions, you can leave them out. That's going to add a little bit of the flavor, though, to this recipe. But if you don't want to use quite that much, just scale it back to what would suit you. So next, I'm just going to add those green onions to that mixture. And try not make a big mess. <laughs> so I'm going to take my spoon and gently fold those into my sauce mixture. Now that I have my mixture well combined, I have it set into the side. So I'm going to take my cauliflower that's been drained and uh, transfer it over to my large mixing bowl. Next, I'm going to cut the cauliflower florets up into smaller pieces. Now, I don't want it chop it up so much that there's no texture in the cauliflower, so I still want it to stay a little bit chunky. For that, I'm going to use this biscuit cutter. If you have a potato masher or some other kitchen device that will do it, um, use that. Yeah. 
Okay, I have my cauliflower all chopped up into smaller pieces and this is how it should look. Now I have my oven back here preheated to 350 degrees and that's what I'm going to be baking this casserole on. So now that I have my cauliflower cut up into smaller pieces, I'm going to add my cream cheese mixture to this and stir it up until it's well combined. Now using my large spatula spoon, I'm just going to stir that up until everything's blended and mixed together real good. And the heat from this cauliflower will help melt down that cream cheese further and make it easier to blend. So as you get to stirring it, it, it will get easier to stir. I have my mixture all mixed together real well and I have it set here. So for my next step, I'm going to add some diced or cubed ham. And I buy this from uh, Walmart. It's the Farmland brand. It's already cubed up for me. If you have a ham at home that you would like to uh, dice up yourself, feel free to do that. So I'm going to break that up in the bag and then add it to my cauliflower mixture. And this ham is going to add a lot of flavor. The contributing flavors are going to come from your green onions, your ham, and that Parmesan cheese that I have in there. And if you feel the need to salt this, to season it, go ahead. Um, just keep in mind that the Parmesan cheese will add a little bit of saltiness to it, so maybe not get too carried away. I usually don't salt mine, and it's just fine for me. Of course, you could always choose to salt it after it's done. Now, using my spatula spoon, I'm just going to stir and mix that ham throughout this cauliflower mix. Okay, I have that mixed, so I'm going to set that to the side for now. Now for my next step, I have a large casserole dish, and I'm just going to lightly spray that with some vegetable spray. So next, I'm going to spoon my mixture over into my casserole dish. Then I'm going to take my spatula and spread this mixture out evenly in my casserole dish. Okay, I have that step done. Next, I'm going to add some shredded cheese to the top of this casserole. Now, you can use shredded cheddar cheese. I'm using a shredded Kobe Jack and cheddar mix. And I'm just going to sprinkle that over the top, um, probably about a cup, cup and a half. I mean, you can go up to two cups of cheese if you want to. That's just going to add even more flavor. So I'm not going to measure mine. I'm just going to pour it on here. Okay, now this is ready to go in the oven, which I have preheated at 350 degrees. It will go in the oven for about, probably about 35 minutes, but basically you just want to allow this to get heated through and nice and bubbly. It may start browning on the top a little bit, that's all right, but mainly you want it to look nice and bubbly before you take it out of the oven. So I'm going to place this in the oven and I'll bring you all back when it's done. I have my casserole done and it's ready to eat. I'm going to spoon me some out onto a little plate and allow it to cool and then that's going to be my dinner for this evening. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you give this recipe a try. I'm sure you won't be disappointed and until next time guys, bye.